everybody, welcome back to my channel, unless of course you're new here, in which case, hi, hello, my name is Ashley and welcome to my random little corner of the internet. As you can tell from today's title, we are finally going to be opening September's Bullet Joy Crate box. It did just arrive today, it is October 8th, that is not any problem, uh, any fault of Lit Joys itself, it, uh, one of the items got stuck in shipping, uh, it actually got stuck at customs, we got a shipping update saying that it had been sitting there for two weeks in customs, and they weren't letting it go, and Litjoy didn't want to send out the box without all of the items, so, while we really, really wanted it, we are very glad that all of the items are still in here, so, if you do not know what Litjoy is, it is a monthly subscription box that features a, y a brand new YA book, uh, as well as five to six bookish items, there are other options as well as far as, uh, what comes in the box, you can get just the book, or you can get just the items, but I get both because it's just more fun that way. <laughs> um, disclaimer, I buy this box with my own money. It is not sponsored. It is not sent to me. Um, I've, like I said, I buy it with my own money and I have been since April and I love it very much. Uh, but without further ado, let's just get into it. It's a cute box. A little unicorn and, and all the stuffs. All right. So, you can also color the inside of the box, I just learned that. Um, so here we go. So yes, the September theme was fictional families. I'm not even, I feel weird that I have no idea who, I mean this is probably from, obviously from the book, which kind of given me some like weird, creepy Stranger Things vibes or something. I don't know, I've never actually watched Stranger Things, but. Like, I don't know. So, but we put this to the side. All right, so first up, uh, ooh, ooh, is this a, ooh, is this a bag? Ooh, I think it is. I think it's a tote bag, maybe? It looks like it. A little bit of ASMR for y'all while I open up. I hate crinkly stuff in videos. But it is, oh my God, that's so cute. So it looks like a, like a library checkout card, but it says, that they're, you know, they're checking out Little Women. So you've got Louisa, or Louise M. Alcott. No, Ashley, you were right the first time. It's Louisa. It's the woman who actually wrote Little Women. Um, LaJoy did uh, put out a notice saying that they are aware of the typo, and they sent us a, like, a coupon for the store. Um, so, yeah, no, it is supposed to be Louisa M. Alcott. I know who writes Little Women, uh, or who wrote Little Women, <coughs> but yeah, on the bag there is a typo, so it does say Louise, but all good. Little Women and the people who've checked it out um, on February 15th, Jill March checked it out on September 16th, uh, Meg March checked it out on March 12th, Amy checked it out, and on April 13th, Beth checked it out, and if you, like, look at all of their different handwritings, you know, Amy's look like perfect calligraphy. That is so cute, and it's a pretty decent size. And down here at the bottom, it says, Families are the most beautiful things. September 30th, 1868. Little Women. Oh, sorry. Families are the most beautiful things in the world. The in the world part's in the center part. But it looks like a, like a book stamp. It's really cute. That is super cute. But yes, it's definitely a fictional family as the, uh, the marches. Alrighty, I'm going to guess this goes with something else. It's just a little baggy with like some legs that I don't, so far I don't see what it might go to, so I don't know. Alright, so, so we have a pan from Brio and Brandish, and there's no guessing what this is, you know, right off the bat, because it is, I mean, it's a fictional family. We have the Cullens from Twilight. Oh, come on. I don't want to glare, but I don't want to... Yeah, so they have their, their lion. It's actually very, very pretty. But it says Cullen on the bottom. with So it's like their family crest. With some clovers and the hand over the lion. It's really cute, though. Alrighty. Alright, next up is our quarterly item. Every quarter. Um, last time, last month it was the puzzle. This quarter it is the, or this 
month is the quarterly teacup. So here is the plate that it will sit on. Ooh, it says once a queen or king, king or queen of Narnia. Oh, he's a king or queen of Narnia. So our, our teacup, oh, and Aslan's in the middle. Oh my goodness. So here's our plate or saucer that our teacup will sit on. I am so excited. I need to find an awesome place to display. Right now they're sitting on top of my bookshelf. I have my Lord of the Rings one and my Percy Jackson. Oh my goodness. It is so cute. Okay, so first off, it looks like a little milk pitcher. But here we have Lucy and Mr. Tumnus. And then we have Aslan. And then we have the wardrobe. And along the top, it's golden. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. They're so cute. Alrighty. Next up is this what that goes to i am so very confused okay so i know the the thingy will tell me the cheat sheet will tell me i think this is supposed to be like a picture frame so perhaps this is what this goes to i just don't know i don't know but here we go so um I see tattoos. So, um, Shadow Hunters? I feel dumb. But that's my only guess. Well, no, because they have they have pointy ears. I'm confused. But no, what I think. So I think the stuff in this baggie, like we have little bolts and things that I think go into here. I just have to figure out how to actually put it together. But it's a little picture frame. And that's really cute. Next up, we have, oh, this is cute. I keep saying the word cute. I should put a cute counter up. It is a little, just a tray, a little display tray. But it is all of the Baggins, or it's, yeah, it's the, it's the Baggins family tree. This is so awesome. This is awesome. That's really cool. Alrighty. Put that right there. Their book. Alrighty. And then our art print. Well, he's a nice looking gentleman. And he has this weird fancy bag over here that looks like it's like iridescent -y. And then our letter from the author on the back. And then our beautiful are beautiful cards this month. I don't I don't remember seeing what family they are from. I'm not sure. I feel like anybody who sees these are gonna be like, duh. But uh, they might be Agatar. I'm really I feel like they might be. Like Lucian and Tamlin and um, Fairy Sisters. And I'm really drawing a blank on right now. Please don't come after me. Maybe we'll see. We will see. But I think I think so. But they're beautiful nonetheless. Alrighty, I think that is all of it. I accept the book. So let me make sure that I am opening it the correct direction. All right, I am. All right. So here we go. The left hand, so, sorry, at the top it says, authorized to kill and sell books. The left-handed booksellers of London. Okay. All right, so the inside says, in a slightly alternate London in 1983, Susan Arkshaw is looking for her father, a man she has never met. Crime boss Frank Thringley might be able to help her, but Susan doesn't get time to ask Frank any questions before he's turned to dust by the prick of a silver hat pin in the hands of the, an outrageously attractive Merlin. Merlin is a young, left-handed bookseller, one of the fighting ones, with the right-handed booksellers, the intellectual ones. He belongs to an extended family of magical beings who police the mythic and legendary old world when he intrudes on the modern world, in addition to running several bookshops. Susan's search for her father begins with her mother's possibly misremembered or misspelled surnames, a reading room ticket, 
and a silver cigarette case with something that might be a coat of arms. Merlin has a quest of his own to find the old world entity who used to or who used ordinary criminals to kill his mother. As he and his sister Vivian tread in the path of a botched or covered up police investigation from years past, they find this quest strangely overlaps with Susan's. Who or what was her father? Susan, Merlin, and Vivian must find out as the old world erupts dangerously into the new. In this pulse pounding, laugh out loud expedition in the world of magical booksellers, Garth Nix crafts a unique fantasy that blurs their boundaries between reality and mythic legend. All right, I did. That sounds crazy. Okay, so here is our uh, uh, signed by the author, and then of course our reversible dust jacket. So it looks first off just the naked book jacket or the naked book. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't, I don't want to start putting naked books on my shelf because then I gotta figure out where to put the jackets. But that, that would just look beautiful on its own. But then our reversible dust jacket looks just like the spoiler card. So I'm guessing this is Susan and Merlin, or maybe Su or Merlin and uh, his sister. But then I love when they do it to where the title is still on the spine. So if I did choose to do it, you know, wrap it with this on the outside, it would still say the name on the spine. Because some of them don't. Some of them are just really pretty artwork, and then, you know, it is what it is. Alrighty, let's get into the little spoiler card, or, you know, let us know what everything is, so that I can you know, figure out what everything is. Alright, so here we go. So again, we have, I'm assuming Merlin and either his sister or Susan. First up, we have the information about the author for the dust jacket, and then the information about the book and the author. Okay, so first up we have the whoop, the Twilight Cullen Crest Enamel Pen. Family isn't always defined by the people you share blood with, although in the case of the Cullen fa found family, sharing blood still applies. Inspired the, by the Cullen family crest jewelry as seen in the films, this beautiful family crest enamel pin was designed in a cameo style but can be worn by or displayed however you show your coven family pride. The incredible pin art was created by Brio and Brandish. As always. I love that they work with a whole lot of Brio and Brandish, which some cool stuff is coming soon for next year. Alright, next up is the Blackthorn Family Portrait, which is the one that I was confused about, but they are Shadow Hunters, so I'm good to go. Alright, it says, of all the notable Shadow Hunter families to love, the Blackthorn Family Kids of the LA Institute are such a beloved and resilient crew. And since these siblings don't get to be all together often, we thought a framed family portrait was in order. Brought to life by artist Alexandria Kurt, this family portrait rivals even the Herondales in charm. So yes, that's cute. I still gotta figure out how to put it together though, but it's really cute. Yeah, it's a very nice little frame. It's like a floating frame. Alrighty, next up we do have, I feel like I missed a page. Did I miss a page? No, okay. Okay, I was right. Next up we do have Alcatar trading cards. So we do have, it says we're representing the September trading cards featuring the lovely Elaine, the unyielding Nesta, the troubled Tamlin, and the loyal Lucian from A Court of Thorns and Roses. When it comes to families, both blood and found, A Court of Thorns and Roses gives us plenty of family love, betrayal, acceptance, and drama. So we do have Elaine on the Four of Hearts. So pretty in her garden. Already a high elf. Then we have Nesta, unpopular opinion. I don't hate her. I actually really love her character. Uh, is the Five of Hearts. Then we have Lucian is the Six of Hearts. And Tamlin is the Seven of Hearts. I guess maybe another unpopular opinion, maybe not an unpopular opinion. He's terrible. I don't like him. I mean, it is what it is. Alrighty, and then next up we have our Narnia teacup. It says, from Spare Um, in, in, into Narnia, the, Pen the Pe Pevensey, sorry, the Pevensey children journey to the thrones of Car Paravel all began with a cup of tea Lucy shares with Mr. Tumnus. This Turkish-style teacup 
features illustrations by Naria Feather in a style reminiscent of vintage editions of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and is perfect for tea and toast with your favorite fawn. Filled with fictional families and found families, The Chronicles of Narnia is the perfect addition to our found families crate. Or, sorry, fictional families crate. Alrighty, and then we have Baggins of Hobbiton Family Tree. After Merlin explains... I'm showing you right. Okay. After Merlin explains his family history to Susan in the left-hander booksellers of London, we knew this crate needed a little genealogy of the fantasy variety. And what better, what better family tree to feature than the respectable Bagginses of the Shire? This little tray is suited to hold tiny treasures like the One Ring and an assorted of things, assortment of things for afternoon tea, made with mel melamine, and measures 8.5 by 5.5 inches. And it says don't don't use a hand don't use a knife and a fork on it it'll scratch it up but it is still so cute I might use it as like a catch-all tray on my entryway table give it a little bit of geekdom alrighty I thought I skipped something but maybe not alrighty and then it talks about the the add-ons and I didn't get any this month I know that's crazy I have been getting the past couple months and then it talks about our photo challenge and then the August nope the October theme is ancient alchemy and I am super excited to get this one because I've already seen some sneak peeks so it'll be exciting alrighty and that's it um I think my favorite oh we didn't even we didn't even talk about the bag oh it was put under the author's the stuff about the author so this is little women author tote to highlight the book-loving and, lo and loyal sibling bond between Merlin and his sister Vivian, we knew we needed to include our favorite tight-knit bookish sisters, the March family. Bring this tote along to next author book signing and have your favorite authors add their signatures. That would be really cute. Uh, we'd like to think Joe would be pleased to be the first, au first author to have signed your bookish tote. That's a really cute idea. If, you know, the world was open right now and we could go to book signings. But yeah, that's, that's such a cute idea. But yeah, I'm going to probably start using this to carry books and stuff. But yeah, no. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up. I think my favorite item, this is so cute and it might be just purely nostalgia, but I love the teacups so much and I love the illustrations that are on the cup and even the saucer is absolutely gorgeous. And I just, it's absolutely, that's definitely my favorite. Alrighty, so that's going to be it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the big thumbs up button as well as that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are always notified every time that I upload. And until next time, bye!